Hello everyone. Welcome to another new tutorial. Today we will be creating this nice trick, sewing machine effect. I am going to show you step by step, without any complications. So let's get started. First of all, write any text you want. Let's write jeans for example. Now scale it up to a bigger size, so we can see what is going on. Change the font if you want. Now we are going to expand it. Go to object, then expand, and hit OK. And right click, then ungroup it. Now select each letter individually and change the desired color. After we changed the color, now select all the letters. Then go to effect, then stylize, then chose scribble. Just change the value of all the option as you see. In your case you might like some other kind of strings. If you are satisfied, chose the exact value as you see, and hit OK. Here comes the fun part. Just keep following. I already have jean texture as background. If you need it let me know in a comment so I can share the project in a description. Let us make the size of our background bigger, so we can see what is happening. Make sure that the texture is behind all the layers. Even here if you colors are not what you like just change before jumping into the next step. Happy with the result already? Ok, let's continue. Alright. Now select each letter separately, go toolbar chose pencil tool. Pay attention to the little selection square, put the pen on one of these small selection and draw some lines. Do the same steps to the other letters as well. Sometimes you can get a crazy result. Of course just redo it and start over again. Now we will do some more interesting things. Select any letter, go to object, and expand it one more time. As you may see, we now have many selection points. Just chose pencil tool, and draw some things again, of course start drawing from one of the selected point. Look! It looks like one of the sides of sewing machine went wrong when Taylor was fixing clothes. Do the same with rest of the letters, and play around with it.
This looks funny as well. Just remind you, to redo the action you did, just hit Ctrl plus Z on keyboard. To make it more nicer, add drop shadow to it, go to effect, stylize, drop shadow. This was it for today. Please hit like button if you like this tutorial, because there is more interesting tutorials and ideas to come. See you soon with another tutorial. Have a good time.